using logarithmic base 10 scale to display data. Now, why do we use logs? Well, these are used to scale numbers to read them more compactly when we're working with large units, such as millions. So the formula we use here is if log 10 x equals b, then 10 to the power of b equals x. For example, if log 10 100 equals 2, then 10 to the power of 10 equals 100. Now there's three properties that we need to look at when using logs. The first property is that if a number is greater than 1, its log to the base 10 is greater than 0. This can be written algebraically like so. Log 10 x is greater than 0 when x is greater than 1. For example, log 10 100 equals 2. The second property is that if a number is greater than 0 but less than 1, its log to the base 10 is negative. So log 10 x is smaller than 1 when x is between 0 and 1. For example, log 10 0.01 .01 equals negative 2. And the third property is that if the number is 0, then its log is undefined. For example, log 10 0 is undefined as 10 to the power of something can never equal 0. Now an easy formula that I like to remember to understand and apply this formula to other questions is log base answer equals power. So for example, log 10 100 equals 2. This means that 10, which is the base, to the power of 2 equals 100, which is the answer. Now, how is this actually used in general maths? Well, this is commonly used through a logarithmic transformations, which involves changing the scale of the horizontal axis from x to log 10x and replacing each of the data values with this log. So this graph here shows us the body weight in kilograms of the number of animal species, weights ranging from one kilogram to 90 tons, such as a dinosaur, which is why the values are clustered to the lower end. So this graph here is an example of a logarithmic transformation as the x values have changed here based on the log formula. As we can see here, when a log transformation is used, the weights are much more spread evenly along the scale. This changes the distribution from positively skewed to approximately symmetric. We can now see that the percentage of weights of animals between 10 and 100 kilograms is very similar to the percentage weights of animals between 100 and 1000 kilograms. Therefore, this logarithmic transformation graph makes the values more readable and informative.